Okay, so one of my favorite Mac, uh, apps on the Mac is Keyboard Maestro. It basically allows you to automate a lot of stuff on your Macintosh. And uh, one of the things I did recently was automate the way I resize windows on my computer. I have a 27-inch iMac. And in particular, for example, you know, I have web pages, and I like to make sure you know, I can open up two different web pages side by side and use the whole full screen and then sometimes I want to just minimize it and so um, you know there are some blog posts that help you do this and I um, I went to one and I'll show you the link to it later on but then I just decided to um, to uh, customize myself and so I made different shortcuts that work universally on all windows so uh, I have one window which is F3 which when I toggle it makes it um, makes whatever the current front window is go full screen on my 27 inch iMac. Now I did want to uh, allow myself to see the top of the uh, you know where you have the uh, the finder and all that on the top of the uh, screen and also I put the uh, the, the uh, you know the uh, what you call it the bar the sidebar dock on the left not on the bottom so so here's how you do it basically you create a shortcut um, hotkey. I made F3, and then um, you go to the variables. So you want to say the action is going to be will execute the following actual action. Set the variable. Now under variables, when you select that, you have a choice of a whole bunch of variables that are system system um, you know at the system level, and you want the one that is the uh, screen size. Now then you go to screen size, you say, I want it to go to screen size main. All right, and uh, now if you look over here, you'll see the, the pixel, um, you know, the screen size is zero, zero, that's the location. It starts on the far left, top corner, and then the, the width pixel is 2560, and, and the uh, vertical pixel is 1440. And so that's the full screen now. So I want to resize it to um, a window to pixels, and I want it to be. I'm picking three there because that's the third variable, and then the fourth minus 22. That means uh, from the top, I want it to be down 22 pixels because that's uh, you know that's that space up above on the computer that uh, I want to reveal, and uh, and then. I want it to move a little left from the dock. So I say move, this is the arrow to go uh, left, right, and I want it to go right 68 pixels. And then I want it to go down 22 pixels from the top. So, but, you know, that's for full screen. Now if I want a half screen, I go to F4. And so F4, now check this out, I am going to, um, resize this uh, to 700 by 700 square uh, pixels. So that's much smaller than the whole screen, which is 2560 by 1440. And I want to move it to the sort of the middle of the of the um, screen. So I, you know, I just fiddled around with it and I got to 800 and uh, 300. Now to give you a sense of how these variables work here, uh, the move to variable, if you just change the numbers it'll move it around you know so let's say if I move this to 600 that'll be 600 pixels from the left and then press uh, F4 uh, see it moves it over if I press it uh, put 900 pixels it'll move to the right some more pixels there we go uh, and it's all going to be relative to the uh, the screen size over here um, same with up and down. I have 300 down, and if I do 400 down, it's going to move it down from the top. And if I go 200, it's going to go up. Here we go, 200. And, you know, so basically I like to have my reduced window uh, at that size. So that's pretty handy. So my F4 is so just read reduce it down to a 700 by 700 square window uh, and it's a good way to sort of minimize just using shortcut keys okay so two other shortcuts I want uh, are to have 
um, half screen on my 27 inch iMac all the way to the left and half screen all the way to the right but still allow the dock to be shown on the left and uh, the top um, bar that has like the, um, the you know the finder um, you know, windows so what did I do so I have for a left half window that's what I call it half window left I have uh, the same thing variable screen size screen main except now for screen size uh, the horizontal I have it multiplied by 48 percent so that I don't want 50 percent because I'm taking into account that I have the dock and then I'm gonna have it 22 pixels from the top and then on the bottom again 68 pixels from the left to make room for the dock 22 from the up the up and up watch what happens here i'll go actually for some reason for just for this command i have to hit f5 twice to get it to go to the the full vertical left now if i go back to f4 it'll reduce it back to the to the uh you know uh, 700 by 700 pixel so you know, I can just toggle back and forth like this, and um, you know it's handy. So let's take a look at the right, uh, the right window. Okay, so for the right window, I you know I'm keeping the same settings as for the left. I still want it a little smaller, like 48 percent. So I'm not making it. Per I could make it perfectly 50/50, but I'm making it 48 uh, percent. Um, and then the key is all I have to do is move screen right, main right, um, minus 1,200. So that's basically moving it 1,200 from the right side. Um, so in other words, screen main, but it's measuring it from the right side, 1,200. So, um, and then again, I have 22 from the top. I don't care about the left margin because th that's where the dock is. So... So let's see what this looks like, F6. So again, for some reason, it doesn't go all the way. I have to press it twice. But you can see it fills up the entire um, right side. And if I want to go back to square, see it goes like that. And if I want to go back to right side, and um, I have to press it twice. But if I want to go to left side, I just switch it like that and I can just go back and forth. So, you know, I find this really handy. This is just another different way to say the, the variable down here. Okay, so now let's see how this works. So I have two Safari web pages up separately, you know, and I want to just quickly align them. So I go to the left one, and first of all, I'm going to go F5, and there you go. I've got it lined up left, and I'm going to go on the right one, and I'm gonna go F6 and boom I have them sort of side by side neatly and if I want to miniaturize them I go F4 I get it in the middle if I want this one miniaturized I go F4 if I want to go back up to the right left I go F5 if I want this one up to the right I go F6 and this works with any front window so it's uh, it's very handy Special shout out to the website mygeekdaddy.net. That's where I sort of learned how to do at least one of the screen sizes, the full screen window. Um, uh, that that's a great site. So uh, I basically took that and then modified it to make four different function keys. So um, you know you should check it out mygeekdaddy.net, which uh, appears to be a really good uh, Mac website for tips. So check it out. Okay, so I, I did this all using the Keyboard Maestro app uh, for the Mac, and uh, it basically allows you to automate all sorts of stuff on your Mac using shortcuts, and uh, it's run, I think, by a guy named Peter Lewis in Australia. It's not too expensive. Uh, you don't get it in the Mac App Store because it, it you know goes into the, you know, the system, and Apple doesn't like uh, you know uh, uh, apps to go into the system. It's uh, 36 bucks To me, it's worth it. Uh, it's really a great, great productivity app, so check it out.